Hi, and welcome to another fantastic training session with Learning to Lean. Let's get started. Welcome to Learning to Lean's Yellow Belt course. This course is structured to provide you with the learning items that can broaden your knowledge of the concepts of lean, continuous improvement, and Six Sigma. This course is also intended to provide you with the information and knowledge to take the American Society for Quality, or ASQ, Yellow Belt exam. In today's session, you will learn the definition of and the origins of continuous improvement, lean, and Six Sigma. We'll talk about PDCA, the DMAIC approach to problem solving. We'll review the evolution of quality tools, the expectations of a yellow belt, and review the Six Sigma roadmap. Let's get started. What is lean? Lean is about the elimination of waste in a process. Waste is something that requires resources but adds no value. Lean is about producing what is needed, when it's needed, with the least amount of waste. What is continuous improvement? Continuous improvement is always striving to make things better. Continuous improvement is the never-ending quest to make processes more efficient. You can do this through the use of Lean and Six Sigma concepts. According to ASQ, this concept is defined as the use of problem-solving techniques and quick deployment to implement improvements and then using those process behavioral studies to maintain the gains. Continuous improvement is a never-ending cycle to make things better. This includes the elimination of waste, always improving, ensuring that you create and establish a repeatable process with predictable results. Continuous improvement is never giving up on the pursuit to make things better for our customers, our families, and our employees. Now let's talk about Six Sigma. Six Sigma in its simplest form is really just a measurement. Six Sigma originated at Motorola and then further developed at General Electric to more of what we know of it today. What is Six Sigma? Six Sigma is a methodology for problem solving. It's a common language for all of us to speak and understand. As I previously stated, it's a mathematical expression or measurement. It is defined as the standard deviation of a process around its mean. Six Sigma equals 3.4 defects per million opportunities. Are there different measurements of sigma beyond six sigma? Yes, of course there are. Take a look at the table on the screen. Six sigma means that the yield or output meets the specifications 99.99966% of the time, as compared to one sigma, where the outputs from a process at that level meets the specifications only 30.85% of the time. Let's look at some real life examples of the different measures of sigma. For a single airline fatality from 1993 to 2012, it operated at a 6.56 sigma level. That means there were 0.2 incidents of airline fatalities per million. A trash hauler fatal injury per full-time equivalent in 2014, they operate at a 4.88 Sigma level. Lost luggage on a major airline, boy, we've all been there and done that, right? Um, they operate at a 4.24 Sigma level. Patients in a hospital found without identification bands operate at a 4.06 sigma level. 
And that means per million patients, there are 5,265 patients without those identification bands. And trash not recycled in the U.S. in 2014, unfortunately, operated a 1.10 sigma level. And as we saw from our previous graph, that's around 30%. So the performance of trash not recycling is not very good in the U.S. in 2014. The sixth sigma goal is to identify, isolate, and eliminate variation. It's to prevent defects rather than detecting them. And it's problem solving proactively instead of firefighting. Let's look at a comparison of Lean versus Six Sigma. Implementing Lean and Six Sigma is a cultural change. 95% of everyday problems can be solved with simple Lean tools, and the remainder with Six Sigma methodology and discipline. That's when I call bringing out the big guns of Six Sigma to be able to solve those really complex problems. Neither approach is about purposely reducing headcount. Now let's look at two different structured approaches to problem solving. One called PDCA or Plan Do Check Act and the other called DMAIC or Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve and Control. The lean approach to problem solving is called Plan, Do, Check, Act, or PDCA. You start with understanding what problem you're trying to solve in the plan step. You should spend at least 50% of your time in the plan step, thoroughly understanding your current problem and how it's different than your desired state. Next, you move on to the Do step. In this step, we work on how to permanently solve the problem. No band-aids allowed here. Come up with a plan in this step to return you back to your desired state. In the check step, we try that plan and see if it provides us with the permanent solution to our problem. The act step allows us to make a decision. We either formally institute the solution to our problem that we developed in the do and check steps, or we decide that the problem hasn't been adequately solved and move back to the plan step again. This is continuous improvement, a continuous cycle of improvement until we reach our desired outcome. The Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control, or DMAIC methodology, is the Six Sigma approach to problem solving. It is a method that takes you step by step from defining the problem with the measurable problem statement all the way through ensuring the solution is sustainable. In the Define step, we identify an issue causing decreased customer satisfaction, a reduced bottom line, safety incidents, supplier quality failures, etc. In the measure phase, we collect data from the process and verify the validity of the data. In analyze, we study the process data to identify the root cause or causes. The improve phase allows us to act on the root causes to change the process for the better meaning this is where we actually solve the problem. And finally, in the control phase, we monitor the process to sustain the gains or make sure it continues to function as expected and permanently solve the problem. The DMAIC methodology can take between a month and a year to complete, depending on the scope of your project. Here is a great comparison between the Lean approach to problem solving, PDCA, and the Six Sigma approach, DMAIC. As you can see, the plan step from PDCA aligns with define, measure, and analyze in DMAIC. In PDCA, the do or check step aligns with the improve step of the DMAIC 
And finally, the ACT step aligns with the control phase of DMAIC. Here are some of the tools that are associated with each step in the DMAIC process. The tools are broken down between Six Sigma tools and lean tools that can be applied during each phase. The approach to quality has evolved over the years, starting with company-wide quality control, or CWCQ, quality circles, total quality management, or TQM, statistical process control, or SPC, ISO 9000, Baldridge Award Criteria, Benchmarking, Balanced Scorecard, Six Sigma, Business Process Reengineering, and Lean Manufacturing. This is a great visual to understand the different levels of certification offered for Six Sigma through the American Society for Quality. Here are a few roles and competencies for a Six Sigma Yellow Belt. Participates as a project team member and reviews process improvements that support the project. Enhanced understanding of the DMAIC methodology, including the financial benefits of Six Sigma and the impact of Six Sigma on an organization. An improved understanding of project definition as well as team roles and responsibilities. A yellow belt has a foundational understanding of the measure phase, including process mapping, data collection plans and techniques, understanding variation, and visually displaying baseline performance. Foundational understanding of the analyze phase, including displaying data visually, cause and effect analysis, and verifying root causes. Foundational learning of the improve phase, including brainstorming, selecting a solution, and the implementation plan. And finally, a yellow belt has a foundational understanding of the control phase, including assessing the results of process improvement, statistical process control overview, and documenting the process. Now let's review the Six Sigma Roadmap. First, we recognize that variation exists in everything that we do, and we work to standardize your work. Next, we identify what the customer wants and needs and work towards reducing variation. Third, we use a problem-solving methodology to plan improvements, and then we follow the DMAIC model to deploy the improvement. Five, we monitor the process using process behavior charts. We then update standard operating procedures and lessons learned. We celebrate our success and we start over for continual improvement. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be the first to see the videos as they're released. Hit subscribe. Now? No, I mean right now. Thank you. Have a great day.